Support for this episode is provided by Park Seed. Park Seed, 150 years and still growing. This week, I built this simple pedestal out of treated 4x4s and planted the garden. To see how the garden does this season, follow me on Instagram and I'll be posting weekly updates. Let's go ahead and get started. I need a total of eight pieces at 20 inches and eight pieces at 13 inches. So once I've got a length cut, I'll use that piece to measure. I'm going to first build all the squares and then I'll stack them up. I'm using three and a half inch long deck screws and I'll start the screw kind of straight. Now I'm going to bend it and this is called toe screwing and notice I'm screwing into the side grain. You don't want to screw into the end grain because the end grain doesn't have as much holding power. And this isn't a screw gun, if you didn't know, this is an impact driver. It's much easier to use than a screw gun. To be clear, I'm not bending the screw, like the screw metal isn't actually being bent. I'm basically just changing the angle and forcing it. And now I can screw in on an angle into the side grain or long grain, I think it's called. You can do this with this kind of lumber because it's soft and you can see how pliable it is. I'm using this clamp to hold all the parts together and then I'll attach them to each other with six inch deck screws. This will be the top square and I don't want to attach it yet. I'm going to try to shape it so it will kind of cradle the cast iron cauldron or uh, planter. This is a reference line. I'm going to use a chainsaw to shape this and I'll do it on all four sides and I'm making this line here so I don't go past this line with the chainsaw. This is another reference line. I'll measure in five and a half pulling from each side and basically what I'm going to try to do is just kind of scoop this area out right here. I'll put a reference line on the inside of the square too. I'll attach the top once I get in position because it's just going to make it heavier otherwise.
think it's definitely 100 pounds. On three? Yep, three, two, one, go. That's not bad. It's just awkward. Yeah, it's nice that it has these handles on it. Yeah, that feels pretty good. All right, well, I'm really happy with the way this looks. There's a nice architecture to the garden. I've got some tomatoes here, some strawberries, lettuces. I think it's gonna look great. Uh, quick update on the bees, if you didn't follow my last video where I talked about beekeeping. I'm still keeping bees, but I'm keeping them in Langstraw hives. I just didn't have any luck with the top bar hive, so I decided to use them as planters. I have one top bar hive left and uh, next year I'm gonna to try to keep bees in it. and I'll know a little bit more about beekeeping. Every year you learn a little bit more, but, um, and, and I do do updates on the beekeeping on my Instagram, so if you follow me on Instagram, you'll be up to, uh, you'll be updated on that, and I'll probably post a, a full video on how the bees are doing. We've got eight hives this year, and I'm keeping bees with my friends, uh, Mike and Steve at Steve's Farm, so I have no bees on the property anymore. Uh, but hopefully we'll get a lot of honey. I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. A big thank you to Park Seed for sponsoring this project and supporting my channel. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram for garden updates, beekeeping updates, and for a behind-the-scenes look at projects that are happening each day.